Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make a simple bobble stitch. And I am using basic four weight yarn or worsted and a size six millimeter crochet hook. But of course you can use any size yarn, any size hook that you'd like. And I'm not gonna chain too many because I'm not making anything in particular. I am just going to show you how to make the bobble stitch so you can make bobble stitches for pillows or sweaters or scarves or really just anything you want to. So I have even made a whole blanket one time that I that I uh, crocheted for a pattern test for a designer that had a dinosaur entirely made of bobbles. Now I'm not going to show you how <laughs> to make an entire blanket out of bobbles. I'm just going to show you the bobble stitch. So what I've done here is chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. Okay, and I chained an even amount because I'm going to be making, well, I'll show you. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go 10 chains. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so we have eleven, and I'm going to put skip that first stitch, and then I'm going to single crochet into that second stitch and every stitch across. So at the end of this first row, we will have 10 single crochet stitches. It's a pretty cool crochet hook, huh? <laughs> this is my Furls Pride Streamline hook. I love the rainbow color. And I figured since I was doing this uh, stitch tutorial with this bright color yellow yarn, I thought this would be the perfect hook to use with it. Okay, now at the end of row one, you will chain one, and I'm just going to single crochet into those first two stitches. And now to make a bobble stitch, this is how I make a bobble stitch. So I yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, here, we'll start that again because I feel like I'm going too fast. Okay, so into that next single crochet, you'll yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook, and then yarn over, pull through. Let me do that a little better. Okay. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over again, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. So now you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine stitches, or I'm sorry, nine loops on your hook. And I believe 
believe, let's see, how many times did I do that? I did that. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, so one more time. One more time. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. So now you should have 11 loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through. Oops. Yarn over. I kind of pull up on my on my loops like that, so it makes it a little easier to pull through, like to pull through those loops. And then I'll have two loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through those two loops. Okay. Now let's make another one, but between those I want to make a single crochet in that next single crochet and what you'll see is this is the back side because that's the bobble on this side but if you flip it over there's a great big bobble so let's do that again so we're going to yarn over there's the first time, yarn over, pull through. There's one, and you have three loops on your hook. The second time, you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. There are five loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Seven loops on your hook, yarn over, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, nine loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, 11 loops on your hook. And then you yarn over one more time, and like I said before, you kind of stretch the hook up against those loops. And I kind of twist my hook just a little, pull through all loops except one, yarn over, pull through those two loops. Okay, so when you turn it over, you will have two bobbles with that single crochet right in between them. Okay, let's crochet a single crochet into that next single crochet. And then when you're working on your bobbles, your bobbles will always be on the back side. So here we go. Let's make another one. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same single crochet, yarn over, pull through, five loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, seven loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, nine loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and you have 11 loops on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through all but that last loop and so you'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through those both. Okay, well, how are we looking here? Okay, I'm just gonna single crochet into these last three stitches. One, two, over. Look at those three little baubles. Aren't those cute? Now since we're on the front side of the work or the back side, whichever, we're on the bobble side. Now say you want to make more baubles right up here. What you're going to do is on your next pass, on your third round, the or on, on your third row, the stitch right above the baubles, you're just going to single crochet 
in every stitch across. Because if you were to make bobbles on this row, the bobbles would stick out the back this way. And it just really wouldn't make any sense. Unless you're wanting bobbles on both sides of whatever you're making. Which I've never really seen a need for that. But you know, just in case. So when we're going back across, we'll have 10 single crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to come back and make some more bobbles. So chain one. Let's see, when we started this one, we had, this is what I'm going to do, because on this row down here, I single crocheted two, and I had three at the end, single crochets, so I'm going to single crochet one, two, three, and then this doesn't really make any difference on the stitch. This is just like, oh, if I'm making a pillow or whatever, I put my popcorn, or not my popcorn, my bobble stitches like right in between each other. So, I mean, the placement of them doesn't matter because really what I'm showing you here is how to make bobble stitches. So, The main point I want to show you in this tutorial is just how to make the bobble stitch and show you that the bobbles all go on one side. So in a single crochet in between these bobbles Some people make their bobble stitches different than other people. If you're following a pattern, I say the important thing to do is a lot of times they will have special stitches and bobble stitches will be one of the special stitches. If they show a way to make their bobble stitch, you know, basically it's the same. They might just have little difference, little differences like maybe nine hooks or I'm sorry five loop ugh, sorry nine loops on the hook instead of 11 so you would only you know go through four times instead of five but always on your patterns check those special stitches and don't just use this way to make a bobble stitch uh, until you check what the specific pattern says first but this is the way that I make bobble stitches. And I do a lot of pattern testing too, so I'm always very, very, um, I always read the pattern before I just go through and make a stitch the way I usually make it. I make sure that uh, the designer ha doesn't want it made a slightly different way. Okay, I'm going back across. I'll make one more row of the bobble stitches just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, and so in between each row of bobble stitches, I'm putting a row of single crochets. And at the end of the row, chain one. Is it the 
those look pretty. I like those pretty little bobble stitches. They look like little balls of sunshine. Okay, so I'm going to single crochet two because the last row I crocheted three at the beginning and the row before that of the bobbles, I did two single crochets. So I'm just making sure that when I make the bobbles that they fall, the next row falls in between the two. Otherwise it'll look kind of weird. You know, there'll be bobbles sitting right on top of each other, which, you know, I've never really seen anything done like that before, but that doesn't mean that it can't be done. Okay, so here we go. One more row of bobbles. And then I pull that up. It just makes, when I pull it tight against the hook, it allows more room for me to pull the hook through and so I'm not snagging any of those other loops on my hook. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, pull through five. bobble, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, pull through five. For 11 loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all but one. So there's two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through those two. So right now this is just a basic little swatch for the bobble stitches. And I'll make one more row of single crochets right across the top here. So the next time I make a tutorial using bobble stitches, I'm going to make something that you can actually use, which I'm thinking something like a cup holder. So if we have a tutorial for a cup holder in the near future, do not be surprised. Okay, there you go. A beautiful bobble swatch. Go practice that, have fun. You know what, just using this simple little pattern right here, if you wanted to, you could make a whole blanket of bobbles. Just make sure on the edges that you stagger. So remember I single crocheted two, I'm sorry, single crocheted two at the beginning of this one and then three at the beginning of this one and two at the beginning of this one. So that will make the, the bobbles be in a nice kind of uh, staggered pattern. So they're not sitting right on top of each other. Okay, you guys, have fun crocheting. Have a wonderful night. If you learned anything from this video, please subscribe to my channel. Oh, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you never miss a moment of yarny fun. Oh yeah, and please share this video if you know someone who would love to learn the bobble crochet stitch. Okay, love you guys. Bye.